The Cahoma Bulldogettes were back in a familiar place earlier today. Red and Charlene McCombs Field at the University of Texas, the site of the UIL Class 3-8 state softball final. Just last year, Cahoma saw their season come to a tough end there on that very same field. But on Thursday, the Bulldogettes were looking to change all of that. Aaron Gilvin is in Austin tonight where he had a front row seat to see if the Cahoma Bulldogettes were going to party like it's 1998, Aaron. Well, happy Thursday night from Austin, where earlier today the Cahoma Bulldogettes were looking to win the 3A state softball championship game. The only thing standing in their way, the Santa Gertrudis Academy Lady Lions. Hannah Wells, of course, gets the start on the mound today for the Bulldogettes, and she was, as Neil Diamond would say, so good, so good, so good, just throwing smoke past one lion after another early on. A scoreless tie is broken by Kaylee Burt with this single to bring Shea Lang into score and Cahoma led 1-0. Santa Gertrudis would tie it up at one apiece as Taylor Reyes drives in a run with the RBI single and it looked like we were heading for another classic in Austin. Baylor Wright has something to say about it though as she will bring Lang around to score again. Bulldogettes trying to get two there but will have to settle for just one to lead 2-1. Top of the seventh with the crowd chanting, let her hit. After Wells had been intentionally walked most of the day, she certainly gets a hold of this one to give the Bulldogettes the margin they needed for the victory and the title. And the last out comes courtesy of Caden Lee in right field. Cahoma wins it four to two. Now let's hear from today's biggest names on what this championship means to them. That's the only thing that I can, that I can put into words is proud, how proud we are of these girls. You know, they work hard. This is amazing. I mean, you're talking about something that's been done once before, before today in the last 25 years. So um, it, it's going to mean a lot to us. I mean, we have little girls in our community behind us, and those little girls are working, and it just um, it's came up with the tradition, and it's starting back up again. It's definitely a dream achieved. I mean, we've been working for this since the very beginning, and sorry, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is just awesome. It's a dream come true honestly a dream come true. Last year sucked, <laughs> it was awful. But this year winning, it was a great feeling just to share with all my girls and the team. It's great, um, we've been preparing since last June. Um, that feeling really hurt, we didn't want to feel that again. So the preparation and the coaches and everyone who's helped us, helped us get here and win today. Well, it was an incredible game today and an incredible run back to this point for the Bulldogettes, losing just three games all season long. And this year, they get the job done when it counts in the state championship game. They are the best 3A softball team in the state of Texas. Once again, your final score, 4-2, to two, the Bulldogettes over the Lady Lions. That's going to do it for me tonight from Austin, Texas.